Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from ExoticGardening.com and before we begin, I do need to tell you that I did receive this item for free in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own. And my coneflower mix uh, from Gurney's has actually arrived. This is the uh, super bag. So there are five different coneflowers in here. And this is what they actually look like. Um, let me lift one of these out. So this is actually the root system. These are known as barefoot plants. Um, there is another one. So these, I was actually concerned about these because when these were delivered, um, the mailman left them in full sun. Of course, Gurney shipped in a plastic bag and then the plants were sealed inside of this plastic bag. And the soil is pretty dry in there. Um, so when I opened them up, we actually had some steam coming out. And I've been very, very concerned how these were going to be. So I've been, gave them a little bit of water, um, of course, opened the package. I've kept them inside in a shaded area and continued to give just a little bit of water to make sure that these roots were going to hydrate up. And now I wanted to do this video and show you before I actually plant these. They're all in there. Like I said, they all seem to be doing fine. I just didn't, I didn't think that planting them up in new soil immediately with as hot as they was was a really good idea so that's why i've chosen to do it this way and i don't know if you can see there's a little bit of growth like right here on this one the roots seem plump and sturdy and so i i truly believe that now after I've gave them a little bit of time to acclimate and kept them in the house overnight, gave them some water, not too much, just a little bit of water. I feel like it is time to go ahead and move these into the, I'm going to put them in pots is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to uh, bare root anything straight into the ground, especially after as hot as I was when they arrived. I want to establish them into pots and get some leaf growth and such out of these plants. And then I'm going to transplant them on into the ground. I think that will be better. It's going to let me keep a closer eye on these and um, make sure that they do okay. This was in no way Gurney's fault. Um, the package was clearly marked, and this was completely the fault of the Postal Service. So, in that respect, I'm I'm very, very disappointed um, that instead of knocking on the door and letting me know that the plants had arrived, they didn't. I also had not received an email from Gurney's, possibly because this was a promotional in exchange for my honest review. So that may have been why, because I seem to remember when I've ordered from Gurney's that I did get notification of when they was going to arrive. Now, Echinacea, or cone flowers as they're commonly called, uh, does bloom from June through frost. It is a full sun, part shade plant. It can reach anywhere from 24 to 48 inches. And you want to space them uh, 12 to 16 inches apart. You want a planting depth of two inches. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and work through this bag of these uh, bare root cone flowers. And I'm probably going to do a little root trim. I'm probably going to soak them in a bucket of water with some Super Thrive uh, as I prepare the pots and get them potted up. And then I will be putting these into my greenhouse where, like I said, I can monitor and wait for them to start putting out some green growth. So anyway, guys, uh, 
please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and have a wonderful day.